Hey guys, what's up? My name is Ayush Khanna and you are watching our channel Ayush Khanna Classes. Now, in this uh, video, in this lecture, uh, we are gonna talk about uh, uh, CMA Intermediate uh, Paper Number uh, 5 or Paper Number 1 Financial Accounting and uh, CA Intermediate uh, Paper Number 1 Accounting. First topic is a uh, single entity system. Accounting for single entity system or accounting from incomplete records. It's a very simple and interesting chapter, straightforward. The only thing you have to keep revising it in revising it regularly because this this chapter mostly time of you will forget how to do sums. Okay. Now let's start with the lecture. In this uh, in this topic, uh, we uh, do not have mu uh, much concepts uh, to write. And, uh, we are going uh, we are going uh, directly going to start with the uh, sums. Firstly, uh, uh, for solving single entity system, uh, we have two methods. First is the trading PL and balance sheet method, and second is the capital comparison method (CCM). Now let's start. See, first I am going to give you some explanation about the chapter. There is a businessman, let's say Mr. X. He has kept his employees. He told Mr. X to uh, Mr. X told his uh, one of his employee to uh, to keep all the record of uh, his uh, incomes. Uh, and expenses uh, in an accounting way at the end of the year uh, at the end of the year let's say 31st march 2018 uh, mr x asked from the employee uh, the the statements uh, he he uh, he he asked him he asked him to get he asked him to get uh, he asked him to keep okay he asked him to keep. Now uh, the employee knows the, uh, does not know the basic uh, accounting. Okay, uh, what he does is, uh, let's say for a year uh, he earned income of uh, Mr. X. Uh, let's say rupees twelve lakhs. Okay. He, he added all further incomes, additional incomes, additional incomes, and uh, and minus all the expenses like this. Okay, and uh, he took out the total profit of the, uh, the total profit of Mr. X. Uh, Mr. X uh, uh, told uh, that uh, this is not the method of accounting. Uh, he only made single entity system that is uh, short and simple. Uh, so he asked his employee to convert into uh, to convert it into double entity system from a single entity system to double entity system. How he would uh, how he would convert it to by pay, by preparing the trading in PL trading PL and uh, balance sheet and for the working notes every type of working note. In this uh, chapter, you have to keep some patience, some focus because uh, the sums are too lengthy. Because the sums are too lengthy, it often uh, goes up to four to five pages. Okay. Now let's start. I'm going to. I'm directly going to start with this uh, with the sum. See. Here is uh, IC, the Institute of Chartered Contents of India's uh, book sum. Let's see. Uh, if you are CMA intermediate students, then uh, then note the note on all the questions or the directly don download it from uh, the institutes of uh, the institutes website. Okay. Now let's start. I am at uh, illustration number 5. 
directly at illustration number 5 yes because uh, first four illustrations are related to ccm okay now let's see with the now let's start with the question the following information relates to the business of Mr. Shiv Kumar, who requests you to prepare the trading and the profit and loss account for the year under 31st March 2017 and a balance sheet as on that date. So, now the most important thing wherever in the question that the space here is given blank or here is blank or here is blank, you have to prepare the working note that there can be a, a trick. Played by the institute in the question, you have to prepare a working note uh, of the same so that uh, we could arrive at the answer. See, building opening balance 320,000, closing balance 360,000, furniture 60,000, 68,000, motor car 80, 80, inventory. Uh, question mark and 40 that means we have to uh, find this okay bills paper 28 16 cash and bank balances 1 lakh 80,000 and 1 lakh 4,000 Sunday debtors 1 lakh 60,000 and uh, question mark bills receivable 22 and 28 or and Sunday creditors 1 lakh 20 and we have to find out now cash transactions during the year uh, the following besides certain items Note that it is the cash transaction, not bank transactions. Okay. Sale of all papers and miscellaneous, miscellaneous trade expenses, uh, including salaries, etc. The collection from debtors uh, 28 and 2 lakhs. A cash purchase is 48. Payment to creditors 1 lakh 84 and cash sales 80,000. Okay. Now. Other information bills receivable during the year, a year amount to 20,000 and bills payable accepted 16,000. Some items of fall furniture whose written down value on 31st month 2016 was rupees 20,000 was sold on 30th September 2016 for rupees 8,000. Depreciation is to be provided on, uh, to be provided on uh, buildings and furniture at 10% per annum and on motor car 20% uh, per annum. Depreciation on sale of uh, furniture to be uh, to be provided for six months and for additions to the building for the whole year. So the answer is the question. Of the data, a sum of rupees 8,000 should be written off as uh, bad debts and the reserve for the uh, doubtful debts is to be provided at the rate of 2%. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. Mr. Shiv Kumar is uh, maintaining a steady gross profit of 30% on turnover. The outstanding salary on 31st March 2016 was rupees 8,000. On 31st March 2017 uh, was rupees 10,000. Outstanding salary. Okay. On 31st March 2016, profit and loss account had a balance of 40,000. 20% of the sales of the total sales and total purchases uh, are to be treated as, uh, as for cash and additions in the furniture account took place in the beginning of the uh, year and there was no opening balance for the uh, doubtful debts. Okay. See the solution. It's too long. See. Okay, so I'm going to start the question. See. Here's the question again for you and for me too. Firstly, you have to write here trading in PL account, trading and PL account, Then next, here 
here is the present sheet of Mr. Shiv Kumar as on the yeah, yeah, as on the date provided. Now building uh, we are given with by closing stock. Now let's start. See whichever entry you are uh, uh, which entry whichever is the transactions you are uh, uh, you are solving you have to uh, do all the statements uh, side by side uh, otherwise uh, uh, at the last of the question it will take a lot of time and then if there is and if the balance sheet does not match then the uh, uh, time would be wasted by closing stock how much 40,000 then uh, see uh, here we are here we are given with the cash sales 80,000 by sales cash 80,000 they told that that 20% of the total sales would be treated for cash that means uh, uh, total sales total sales would be for how much if 80,000 is uh, at 20 then at 100 would be the total sales Total sales would be 4 lakhs and credit sales 4 lakh minus 3 lakh 20,000. Uh, sorry, 4 lakh minus 80,000 that comes out to be 3 lakh 20,000. Or you can uh, directly uh, compute your credit sales uh, uh, by. 80,000 divided by 20 into 80 this is also right correct this is also correct okay now cash purchases we are given with two purchases here uh, comes out to be two opening stock and two purchases cash credit see Sorry. How much? Eighty thousand. Eighty thousand. Again, eighty thousand. So, sorry, forty-eight thousand. It's forty-eight thousand. Cash purchases. And similarly, forty-eight thousand divided by twenty into eighty. One lakh ninety two thousand plus forty eight thousand total purchases uh, comes out to be two lakh forty thousand. Okay, now let's uh, in the credit we have committed three lakh twenty thousand and four lakh here closing stock. 40,000 correct 40,000 so, working notes first working note cash account two opening balance two yeah two balance brought down Two sales to cash sales, how much eighty thousand and by purchases forty eight thousand. Then C 
sale of uh, old papers and miscellaneous income okay for this chapter you need a basic you need a basic uh, journal base journal entry base to income to miscellaneous income 20000 then 20000 payment to creditors sorry by side side nipta dete hain by miscellaneous trade expenses by trade expenses amount 80000 80000 per transfer uh, these two incomes so that uh, sorry income uh, miscellaneous income and trade expenses uh, to a uh, trading and pl account uh, in profit and loss account to gross profit total by gross profit brought down by income uh, that is miscellaneous income you have to write in full 20000 and uh, the next amount was for 80000 trade expenses okay to trade expenses 20,000 now payment to creditors now two new accounts uh, two new accounts are to be prepared in the working notes that is the debtors account and creditors account okay see second debtors account to balance brought down how much 160000 160000 if this balance brought down there there must be by balance carried down but we have to compute that by balance carried down okay sending uh, a collection from debtors 2 lakhs by debt uh, by cash sorry 2 lakhs to debtors 2 lakhs see so easy sums then uh, cash purchase is done payment to creditors 1 lakh 84000 payment to creditors 1 lakh 84000 creditors opening 1 lakh 20000 is the opening third creditors account buy balance without down one lakh uh, sorry one lakh twenty thousand by sorry two cash one lakh eighty four thousand by creditors one lakh eighty four thousand here we have computed the two credit sales in the trading and PL account see credit sales uh, 320000 and credit purchases so 192000 uh, this was uh, 2 lakhs uh, sorry how much was the amount 320000 and 192000 okay 320000 
एंड वन लैख बाय पचेस वन लैख नाइन्टी टू थाउजेंड डन डन एंड डन वर्किंग नोट्स इज कंपलसरी टू मेक इज इट इज कंपलसरी टू मेक इफ सिक्सटीन मार्क्स क्वेश्चन कम Fifteen to sixteen marks, then surely approximately ten marks, ten to twelve marks is for the working notes. The next B point we have completed. Now let's start with the A A part. Buildings three lakh sixty thousand. Balance sheet uh, buildings. Three lakh sixty thousand. So the three lakh sixty thousand. Then furniture sixty eight thousand. Furniture. Sixty-eight thousand. Then furniture, motor car, eighty thousand. Eighty thousand. Sorry. Then we cash and bank balances. So we are given with uh, sorry bills payable first. Inventory we are done with uh, cash and bank balances one lakh eighty thousand and one lakh four thousand. Cash and bank balance one lakh eighty thousand. And what was the opening balance? Uh, so so one lakh four thousand is the closing, uh, and one lakh eighty thousand. Uh, is the opening balance 1 lakh 4000 here and uh, and in working notes by balance plot down 1 lakh 80000 and 1 lakh 4000 by balance ke returns then next sundry debtors 160000 is the opening balance ho gaya hua then next bills payable 16000 is the closing balance bills payable 16000 And uh, yet another new working note. Bills payable account. Two balance. Blot down. Twenty-eight thousand. And by balance carried down. Sixteen thousand. Fifth working note. Bills receivable account. I think we have done wrong. Sorry, some mistake. By balance, blot down twenty-eight thousand. Two balance carried down sixteen thousand. Twenty-eight 
two balance without them two balance without them bills receivable 32000 and the closing balance is 28000 16 uh, 32000 and 28000 okay so we have got 32 and 28 32 and 28 28000 then in balance sheet bills receivables to be transferred 28000 piece bills receivable 28,000 then we are done with A and B points next C bills receivable drawn during the year 20,000 and the bills payable accepted to be 16,000 okay bills receivable drawn Two debtors. How much? How oh, the bills? Twenty thousand. And the debtors account. Buy. Bills receivable. Twenty thousand. And bills payable accepted. Sixteen thousand. Buy bills payable. 16,000 uh, Characters set to this page with the general entry 16,000 Again okay, no a mistake Sorry 16,000 by creators next point some items of old furniture whose return on uh, value of, uh, on 31st March 2016 was 20,000 uh, was sold on 30th September uh, 2016 for BC 8,000 okay furniture's account we're gonna make Furniture account two balance without down sorry furniture account two balance without down sixty thousand sixty thousand and closing balance uh, was 68,000 I suppose by balance get it down 68,000 by cash was sold for the piece 8,000 okay by depreciation on furniture of, uh, for the sold ones uh, how, what is the rate for depreciation? Furniture 10%. Okay. 10% for 6 months. How much? This is around 20,000. We have to calculate on book value 20,000 into 10% into 6 by 12 1000 rupees by loss on sale by loss on sale 20000 was the book value 
Okay, now let's see what the question is saying for the depreciation on okay. Uh, let's see. Depreciation is provided on building is nature 10% uh, motor car 20% depreciation on sale of furniture condition uh, uh, for the whole year. Okay. Uh, what are the additions made? 40,000 rupees uh, is addition made. Okay. Now what have they done? Let's see. Because uh, there are many treatments for this, the same. Jo and Luxon Q we be voy illinge. जिन्होंने बिल्डिंग अकाउंट बनाया हो हाँ फर्नीचर अकाउंट में देखो इन्होंने क्या चेंजेस किए हैं सिक्सटी ट्वेंटी एट ओके ओके बाय टेप्पी ओके व्हाट हैव दे डन इस ओके सिक्सटी एट एट थाउजेंड पे इन्होंने डेप्रिसिशन लगा दिया आई टोल्ड यू ना देव मेनी टाइप ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट्स लेट्स सॉल्व फॉर द By depreciation, sixty eight hundred. Then by balance, carried down would be sixty eight thousand minus sixty eight hundred. That is sixty one thousand two hundred. Okay, here the balance comes to bank account. Now to cash account balancing figure. Thousand to sixty eight thousand. Total is like so eighty eight thousand, eighty eight thousand, and twenty eight thousand instead. Now, in cash account, two entries for the uh, furniture will go. Buy furniture. That is the purchase of uh, furniture is uh, twenty eight thousand and uh, two furniture. How much is the sale? Ten thousand. Then for the we are done with the C points. First point, second point. Uh, first and second point uh, are done. After that, uh, some of the citizen should be written off as uh, bad debts uh, and the reserve for doubtful debts is to be provided at 2%. Okay. Let's see. Buy bad debts. 8000. Uh, we are gonna uh, calculate the provision afterwards. Uh, maintaining a steady gross profit at the rate of 30%. Okay. That means uh, 
cost of thirty percent on four lakhs. That is that comes out to be one lakh twenty thousand. Here the total is four lakh forty thousand. Four lakh forty thousand. And we have got our opening stock. Eighty thousand rupees. This we have to uh, show in our working note, but I am not making uh, the working note for this. Uh, for this, we have to make a working note. A trading account is uh, not. Um, uh, it is not a memorandum account. It is a trading account. In the memorandum or the statement account, we we have uh, we can show balancing figure, but but in this we can't. Gross profit. One lakh twenty thousand. Okay. The next depreciation furniture one thousand plus sixty-eight hundred. That comes out to be seventy-eight hundred. And on building. For building the depreciation amounts to be thirty six thousand. Okay, how three lakh sixty thousand per ten percent? Then motor car per depreciation. We have to make changes there also. मोटर कार पे कितनी है ट्वेंटी परसेंट लंबा लेक्चर हो गया ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड सॉरी ट्वेंटी परसेंट मोटर कार मोटर कार एटी थाउजेंड एटी थाउजेंड पे ट्वेंटी परसेंट डेट कम्स ऑफ तो भी सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड Changes in the balance sheet is to be made right now. For furniture, it is sixty one thousand two hundred. Sixty one thousand two hundred. For motor vehicle, it's sixty four thousand. For buildings, it's three lakh twenty four thousand. For here, cash account. Additions are made to building. Then here by building, forty thousand. Okay. Now let's take with the next point. Outstanding salary on 31st March. Pay 8,000 and on 31st March 117 was 10,000. Sell are we provided with the salary? How did they do the treatment first? Uh, they didn't provide anything for the salary. No, I think they provided it. Okay, okay, okay. See, the point is, uh, I'm preparing the next working note here. It is expenses account. By outstanding salary, by outstanding salary, eight thousand uh, and two. Sorry, by balance sheet brought down eight thousand. Eight thousand. Two balance carried down sixteen thousand. Sixteen thousand, huh? Sorry, ten thousand. Ten thousand. Here we have made payment to bank. Yeah, to cash eighty thousand, and to buy profit and loss account. Here becomes here it comes a balancing figure. Ninety thousand is the total. 
uh, and uh, 90,000 90, minus 8,000 that comes up to be 82,000. Eighty-two thousand. Here I make the changes. Eighty-two thousand. Okay. The question is uh, solved now. We have to just close the accounts. Now let's just see. We have to just close the accounts now for two uh, provision for bad debts and two net profit on net loss. Let's see. Cash account. I think the cash account is closed. One like eighty thousand plus eight thousand. Plus eighty thousand, plus twenty thousand, plus two lakh, minus forty eight thousand, minus eighty thousand, minus twenty eight thousand, minus one lakh eighty four thousand, minus one lakh four thousand, forty thousand. Some amount is coming. Let's see further. Debtors account. Like oh, when when there is any uh, bills payable account and uh, bills payable account, with that there there is uh, debtors and creditors. First, we have to uh, close uh, bills receivable and bills payable account. Okay. Okay, two thousand plus. Twenty four thousand. If all the bills is able, see. Buy cash. Twenty four thousand here. If you calculate the ten to cash twenty eight thousand. Okay. See here was a defense. Two bills receivable twenty-four thousand. Buy bills payable twenty eight thousand. Cash account is done. Then debtors account one lakh sixty thousand plus three lakh twenty thousand minus two lakh thousand twenty thousand minus eight thousand two lakh fifty two thousand is the closing balance for debtors. Two lakh fifty-two thousand. Now, minus provision for bad debts at the rate of two percent. Five zero four zero. Two four six nine six zero. Two four six nine six zero. Okay, then in uh, this five zero four zero eighty two thousand plus eighteen hundred so it's seventeen hundred plus thirty six thousand plus sixteen thousand plus five zero four zero minus twenty thousand minus uh, one of twenty thousand. Here is the loss of six eight four zero. Six eight four zero. Okay. 
now see which accounts are yet to be closed creators account to balance cash it down 120000 plus 192000 minus 184000 minus 16000 so 112000 12000 creators 112000 then next any account here which is uh, left unclosed bills I think every account is done now at last one last step one last working note that is working note number eight that is statement of affairs uh, through statement of affairs, we have to calculate uh, opening cash balance. Uh, sorry, or not opening cash balance, we have to calculate uh, uh, opening capital. Opening capital. C. I see the card on Akuma. Segment of affairs account. Uh, two accounts are to be prepared right now statement of affairs uh, and capital account see opening the balance sheet profit and loss account of previous year 40,000 syndicators 1 lakh 20,000 bills payable 28,000 outstanding salary 8,000 buildings 320 furniture 60 motor car 80 inventory 80 syndicators 1 lakh 60 bills receivable 32 and the cash is 1 lakh 80,000 then uh, from this uh, one more working note is to be prepared that is capital account uh, with this uh, capital uh, 7 lakhs 16,000 uh, and then it is to be transferred to, to a balance sheet okay then it should uh, it will be transferred to balance sheet uh, the capital account format is in this question capital account by balance block down uh, jitna bhi id aega what is uh, the how we do calculate the closing capital uh, by balance brought down then here all the profits all the net profit then design uh, then additional capital here designs and at last the by balance character here this would be your answer okay question asakta bada you have to just keep focus you have to uh, side by side do each and every entry each and every entry okay in the description box of this lecture i am going to prov uh, i'm uh, uh, providing uh, some assumptions for single entry system read uh, that uh, you have to apply uh, the same in the paper okay now if the number of the if uh, at the if any equation gives that uh, example given the question am I pass C I think question Hona Chaye C Institute ke study material mein. Finding the question, 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 question. Huh. See, here's the question. Illustration number, I think eight. Yeah, illustration number eight. I'm going to read the. Uh, uh, I'm going to read the adjustments. Summary of cash transaction CSRI. I'm going to give it a simple one. Yes, simple one. Huh. Rent received for six uh, of rupees 40,000. I'm at 12 to the point. Rent received 40,000 for the way of check uh, for the payments owed by the proprietor. Uh, normal PL account. Mein. Then a building was purchased on a 
for this point in cash account there would be a balancing figure in the credit side that would be the building account okay that would be the building account the claims against the firm it's not legal PL account uh, the business is carried out at the rented premises of an annual rent of rupees 20,000 which is outstanding at the year simple just see the question you will get to know what is then the question huh 11th point which I'm uh, which I was searching for received 27 on, on uh, maturity of uh, one LSC policy by uh, the proprietor of the proprietor by the check in this question in this uh, for this transaction the treatment would be uh, treatment there uh, would be additional capital in the cash account would be uh, additional capital in the cash account see cash account see LSC which is 20,000 capital zone ka 14,000 okay then this would definitely go in capital account if they have prepared it or they I think they have directly done treatment in the balance sheet see yeah this may be a ticket. They say usually my Koshish Yakarno kept within 30 minutes. Smell like the Katamuza, but you will like to tell them, but like you will be some skull number. We are done with the first topic. Okay, some small points are to be provided in this. So I'll provide in the next lecture with the CCM method. Okay, okay, thank you. Like, share, and subscribe the channel for more classes. Thank you.